Hello and welcome to an ANOVA system snippet video. My name is Sam Bromley and I'm going to show you how to use a feature called Move Face. So what I've got in front of me here is an imported body. It's actually a step file. So some of us might be familiar with this when we get a file from a package which isn't SOLIDWORKS uh, and we open that up either in maybe a step format or an IGIS format what we get is an imported body. That's what the imported body looks like on the left hand side in the tree. So we have no history. So changing and manipulating the model can be a lot more complicated because we've got no dimensions that we can change, we've got no feature parameters that we can change. But not to say we can't make those changes, okay? it's a little bit more complex. But what we can do is use a feature called Move Face. So I'm just going to show a few different examples of Move Face. For instance, we could select a face to offset, perhaps on the bottom face here. So as you can see, we can then offset that face with the parameter, the actual dimension on there, and it will then extrude that face that little bit more. Okay, so we can make alterations to the existing faces which may be in an imported body. So we get something like that. Likewise, we could use the translate. So we could actually move faces. So for instance, if I select that face there, and attempt to move it to the side. Okay, we can set parameters in here, so we've got fixed dimensions. Hit the tick. You can now see that that whole face has been moved just to the right hand side there along the along the x-axis. So just because we've got an imported body and we don't have a feature tree doesn't mean that we can't manipulate and change the geometry that we've got. So I hope this has been a useful way of showing you how we can go about doing that with those imported bodies. And uh, thanks for watching.